الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم على نبینا محمد و على علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ we know as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should safeguard our iman and that means protecting ourselves <coughs> from kufr, from disbelief and protecting ourselves from shirk, polytheism the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said There isn't a thing which I am more fearful for my nation than shirk al-asgar. فَسُئِلَ عَنْهُ فَقَالْ الْرِيَا And he was asked, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about what this shirk al-asgar, what, what is it? You know, get, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded by saying, al-riya. Meaning the subtle ways of, of, of shirk. Like showing off, doing things to be heard and to become famous. Especially with relate, relation to the deen. We're not saying that you're a wrestler and you want to be famous or whatever the case may be. Or you want your restaurant to be famous. We're not talking about that. We're talking about things related to the deen, the riyah. Showing off. Showing off. <coughs> This is what we have to be concerned with, Ahabatifillah. Because that can negate your ibadah. It can either negate your worship in totality, or it can negate your worship if it is shirk al askar. It'll negate the act of ibadah that you are performing. Or it can cause harm to it, but if you return to that act of ibadah during the act, then you can save that act of worship. Let's give you an example so it's clear. For example, the one who prays, they come in the masjid to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's their intent. Perform the dhuhr prayer, mithalin. And they, they come in the masjid and they begin to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And while they're praying to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, <coughs> they began the prayer on, on ikhlas, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then <coughs> they begin to beautify their prayer for the people. You know, somebody a big sheikh or a brother with a big beautiful beard comes next to you, and you kind of want to, you know, make your prayer. You, you begin to the shaitan whispers to you and you kind of get your prayer. You know, you, you really want to feel it more because of him not and and you begin to kind of show off or beautify your prayer for him meaning that you're beginning to show off and then you continue showing off until the end of the the salat then that salat was not done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you began the act of ibadah on ikhlas but you ended it on shirk al askar showing off so this negates that salat it negates that salat. Taib. But what if you begin the prayer for someone else? You, be, you come in the message, you see the brothers around, so you just, a beautiful salat. You, Allahu Akbar, raise the hands up, and you, you're, you're, you're kind of showing off and trying to perfect your prayer to please the people. Then you kind of, you get some ikhlas. This because you began the act of ibadah, it negates that, that act. What if you begin the prayer for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then you begin to show off? Then you fight that waswas and that showing off and you begin to clean up the prayer and make your sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your prayer is okay 
and it is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that shows us that some of the different ways of the Riyadh is showing off how it can have different ahkam. The hukum can change depending on the surah, depending on the way in which the pra pr prayer began, the way it ended, did you fight the riyah or not, what, what have you. All of those things are variables which change the hukum of that salat. So it's very important in habita fillah to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ikhlas and protect yourself from shirk. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka lima la a'lamu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.